Welcome back everybody, Clint today with Classic Firearms out here at Take Aim Training and Range. We got Kaya back with us. What's up guys? And we're gonna do a very basic video to how to sight in your red dot on your pistol. It's gonna be something really basic, really simple, like hey, we're gonna take a couple of shots, kinda like you load up anything else, and then you start taking your shots, and you kinda see where you're hitting, and then you make your adjustments. However, red dots, or green dots in this case, like with the Swamp Fox Kraken on this Glock 19, can some, 45, can sometimes be a little, I don't know, I guess you say questionable to some people. And a big shout out to Infinity Targets for providing the target today. It is a uh, self-healing reactive target, so it should be really easy to pick up these shots. And so um, this Swamp Fox Kraken, it's on here nice and tight. That's, I think, probably the biggest and most important thing is to go ahead and make sure your optic is um, tight to your gun, all right? Because if it's not and it's bouncing all over the place, you'll never get sighted in. So for me, quite simply, <laughs> You pick a spot on the target, go ahead and take about you know, anywhere between three to five shots, whatever you're comfortable with, see your shot placement, and from there you make your adjustments. But what you wanna make sure you're doing is you're having that same point of aim, sorry, same point of aim. You wanna make sure that you're aiming at that exact same point every single time you pull the trigger. So even if you're missing way to the left, that's okay. If you have a nice tight group, that's cool. You can work with that and make that adjustment. So that's exactly what I'm gonna try here today. We are at 10 yards from the target, and I'm just gonna aim Center mass. Yeah. What do you say? Yeah. So I'm just going to take a three shots really quick, center mass with the Kraken on the uh, Glock 45, and see where we hit. And then from there, I can make my adjustments. Kai, you good with that? Yeah, absolutely. That's exactly what I'm saying. Yep. Cool. Let's do it. Let's just take a couple shots here. Again, center mass. That's pretty good. Honestly? I don't even know if I change it. <laughs> yeah, no, that is actually spot on. Yeah, so let's actually take a look really quick so you can see where we're hitting. And obviously it's uh, me at this point. What I tried to do is I kind of hold it right in here. So what I could honestly do is probably bring it down just a bit. So let's do that and then come back after maybe just a couple of clicks, shoot another three, see where we're at. All right, so I've adjusted it on the crack in here. You've got a very easy display. You rotate it left to up your shot placement and then rotate it a little to the right to bring it down. So I just rotate it a little right. So let's just see where we're at now. Again, aiming center mass. All right, take a look. So I did pull like, I think I pulled that first one a little bit there. You can see I dropped quite a bit, but my final two, I'm pretty happy with. I'm not gonna change anything from here, I don't think, because my final two is pretty much where I want it. As far as my my windage goes, I haven't adjusted that at all. Notice I was hitting a little right here, but brought it to the center. Was center on my first shot, a little low, and then these two I'm pretty happy with. Honestly, I'm not doing competitive shooting with this guy. This is more of a defensive type pistol. And within 10 yards, Kaya, I mean, you've got that FBI you know, um, experience and everything else. Most engagements, are they happening outside of this distance anyway? No. Nah. Uh, based on statistics, are, uh, most gunfights in law enforcement are between three to five yards. Three to five. So even this is still too far. Yeah. So yeah, you, so. you do have gunfights seven yards, 10, 15, 25 plus, but on average, they take place very close, yeah. very close to your assailant. Right. And that's typically because they're right up on you, right? You're not, yep. You might want to strike and yep. then, you know, start shooting, which by the way, with these, you know, infinity targets, that's actually very safe. I mean, if I need to like, you know, as a strike, whatever I can do that, it's easy day with this type of stuff, yeah. which is really cool. Uh, don't get me wrong, I love steel targets, but if I were to try to do that with a steel target, that'd come back and yeah. not be a good Not day. safe, not right. safe. But anyway, let's get you uh, sighted in on yours now. Which one do you have? Of course. Yeah, I've got the uh, Loophole Double Point Pro um, open emitter, the red dot over here, and I've got a Glock 34 in my hand. What I'd recommend is, again, as we discussed, the reason we do it like around 10 yards, to 15 yards, you can do it 10 or 15 yards. I'm comfortable with both due to the fact that the gunfights generally happen between uh, within that range. And when you put your uh, red dot on, I want you to go ahead and draw and look at that dot first because it may be all the way to the right. There's no all point right. for you to shoot it. Just yeah. try to adjust it. Now, what I have is like, I literally was just looking at it and my dot is all the way to the right. So yeah, and you're absolutely right because you can visually inspect your optic, you can see where the reticle is, even though you don't have co-witnessing sights, yep. you'll be able to at least line up, be like, okay, wow, that I can tell is all the way over to the right, I'm gonna miss every single shot, right? Yep, exactly. And so you probably show the audience yeah. that as well, exactly so, what I'm talking about there. There it is. So when you're looking at the uh, dot, you're gonna be able to tell that dot is all the way to the right. And you can tell the iron sights are lined up, 
but the dot is not. So before you shoot it, you can just go ahead and adjust the uh, elevation or windage or both to bring the dot to the center and then you can start shooting. All right, so now what we're gonna do is, I'm looking at it, dot is to the right. What I have here with me is a, like an adjustment tool. Oh, just, yeah, just an adjustment little, uh, tool. That's an adjustment 23 tool. casing, 556. Five, and it works just fine for me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it to the right a little bit. All right, a little bit more. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna go grab a fresh, fresh can of paint, paint up your target so you got a fresh target. Thanks, man, appreciate it. So, there we go. And then do it again, just a little bit to bring it to the center. All right, just a little more. All right, now we're getting there. And let's show it to the uh, camera. I don't know if you guys can tell, it's more to the center now. All right, so that's the idea. So what you wanna do is go ahead and line it up before you shoot it. It's somewhat center and then you go ahead and start 10 yards or 15 yards. And remember, you have all the time in the world. This is not a time for you to go ahead and shoot fast, shoot as slow as you can or you want to. And if you're not confident with your own Shoot abilities. fast, miss fast. That's the <laughs> word to live by right there. Yeah. You're sighting in your handgun, so take your time. It's very important. And if you need to bench it, if you gotta put your hands on a bench or on a sandbag, do that if you wanna be stable. But you really, really wanna be stable. I'm confident with my abilities following the uh, pistol fundamentals, so I'm just gonna stay in like 10 yards away and take my time and actually fire about three, uh, three rounds and see where I'm hitting. And this is about, yeah, hold on, I, I got it again. Okay. About 8.3, 9.6, 9. Right here, right where I'm at. Bam, this is exactly 10 yards. All right, perfect. Range finders for the win. So I'm keeping it right center at 10 yards. Okay. We are too far to the left. Yeah. You see that? That's about, right about above your clip. Clamp. So I'm not even gonna bother. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bring this out. So apparently we over adjusted it. What he's not telling you is he's just that bad. I was not heavy on the trigger. Okay. There you go, let's try now. That was way too bad. All right, let's try that. Now I'm feeling better with this. All right, it's right on the line. So I'm slowly moving. Man, just crank the heck out of it. I'm doing that right, right now. There. So. In this case, this is a uh, one MOA adjustment and it's taken, I mean, I cranked this thing all the way. Let's see where we're at now. Where was I this time? Okay, so I'm very close to the bread box, right? Do it a little bit more. This should do it in my opinion. Should be somewhat. Okay, so I'm dead center, but just. Just a little to the left. Just a little bit, but I'm gonna do it. So the elevation seems fine. I wouldn't even mess with the elevation. Yeah. yeah. Okay, this. Should be good to go. Let's do it again. I'm still a little to the left. Yeah, you got, I think you're, you're, I mean, obviously it's got real fine adjustments to it and you are taking it ever so gently, which is completely fine, especially if you want that precise shot. I just want that. Just, oh, it needs to be dead center.
I'm feeling pretty good with this. Yeah, you got a good group going. All right, so why don't we go check it out? Yeah, I'll show you where you can, kind of, you can see where you kind of started to walk it over. Yep. And I was going to be pretty upset. That's the uh, only two clamps I got. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I mean, look at this. Yep. This is my first hit. Well, I don't know. This may have been a hit at some point because look at that. It grazed yeah. the target. That may have been my first one then, or maybe, maybe after. But yeah. one of these or both of them. Yeah. So it was. So the elevation is just fine. You yeah. guys can see this because I was aiming right here. So, but the uh, the windage was way off. Yeah. So I brought it right here. Then I brought these two right here close to the bread box. Then they came over here. Then I your final two. This there. is my final two. Yeah. This was a little off but I'm right here. So at 10 yards, this shot placement, I'm very happy. I'd consider this uh, red dot to be good to go. Yep, so at the end of it all, hey, again, big shout out to Infinity Targets for providing the target here. I really am, I'm a fan of this. We're gonna shoot the crap out of it. I think they said they can stack 110 5.56 rounds per one square inch on this before oh. you start to actually see it start to wear out, Yeah. which I think is pretty impressive. So check those guys pretty out awesome. and uh, let us know what you guys think. Do you have any other hints, tips, tricks for those new shooters that might be shooting with the red dot and whatnot that you might be able to offer, uh, let us know down in the comment section. And I think we can leave it off there, guys. Yeah. So head on over to classicfirearms.com to get all of your range day needs, Second Amendment wants, whatever it might be, including free guns, because he, does, he doesn't want a free gun. We always give free guns away. Yeah, I know. I, want and, and I, know yeah, I know you've been really sad because <laughs> you're not eligible to enter anymore, but... Trust me, I've I got some... I haven't been uh, eligible for like four or five years, so... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll leave it off there, guys. You'll see the code word down at the bottom of the screen. As always, we appreciate you and your business. God bless. And we'll see you next time at ClassicFirearms.com.